Now welcome, uh, Clip is big business and uh, the two biggest hitters are Boston and Cook I think. Uh, Boston's got this brochure where they say take control. It annoys me a little bit because I didn't know I was out of control at any point, uh, let alone having to retake it. The uh, being a cranky kind of guy, the Cook brochure annoys me as well because inside you've got these, these American geezers talking about, well, they've been paid to say nice things about Cook. That's no relevance to me. Me, on the other hand, I've paid nothing for this. Not a single dime, not a single cent, not, not a single um, uh, penny. So I'm free to say what the hell I want, and I will do. Now, I'm going to compare, we're going to do a head-to-head -head, uh, of the, these two clips. Uh, they're going to go six rounds, if you like. By the way, clips are my best friends, you know. It all, my, um, this, this plucky little fella here, the Quick Clip 2, was my first, first big clips. I, well, I, I call it the, the, the first generation clips. They're, um, they bail me out of trouble more, more times than I like to think. Not only may uh, bail me out of trouble, bail the patient out of trouble. Because at best you can, you can close a, 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 a defect and save the patient an emergency operation. And at best you can put clip, clips on, it's been proven, and reduce the risk of a late bleed. I don't think we use enough. Now skeptics of course will say, oh there's no point in, in placing clips. The risk of a late bleed after an average kind of polypectomy is only one in a hundred. You need to put, you put clips in a hundred, in 99 patients to save that hundredth patient from, from coming in with a late bleed. There's no point. My big polyps that I get referred used to have a late bleeding rate of about one in 30. So I need to place clips unnecessarily, if you like, in, in 29 of these patients in order to prevent the 30th patient coming with a clip coming in with a late bleed. But I think people are missing the point here. It simply is the right thing to do. Um, let me put it this way. You know, we, uh, nowadays in the UK, we, we carefully clean the skin before we put the uh, candle in, we put uh, sterile gloves on, and, and then with a the sterile technique, uh, we, we place the, the, the cannula. You could argue, look, there's no point in wasting money on sterile gloves and sterile packs and all that stuff. It just costs plenty of money. It's cheaper. Yes, when the patient, when the old patient gets a wound infection, uh, a cannula, uh, a venflon site infection, they just treat it with antibiotics. It's way cheaper. No, it's the wrong thing to do. It's the same with the clips. The placing clips after after you, you remove a pedunculated polyp, one or two clips on the pedunculate to reduce the, rate, uh, the risk of late bleeding, or when you've got a, an EMR defect, place some clips to close it, is the right thing to do, regardless of money. Anyway, um, now the six domains, the six rounds, if you, if you like my boxing analogy that we're going to uh, put these two clips through, is jaw strength, control and maneuverability, dimensions, we want bigger clips with a shorter tail of course, who doesn't want a bigger clip? We have, uh, we measure, we're going to measure drag down the biopsy channel because we don't like drag, uh, because when we're in an awkward position it just makes it difficult to feed the clip down. We're going to compare the grip strength of the, of the two clips and of course the price. Now the price is only pertinent to the UK, to Leeds in fact, different units will be quoted different prices depending I guess on how, how they feel on the day and, uh, and how many clips uh, you actually use and other kits that you use from either Boston or, or Cook. Quite often these, these um, deals are bundled together. Uh, by the way, one thing I should mention that both of these clips are MRI compatible uh, provided you use a, I think a magnet up to uh, three Teslas with according to our radiologist is a big magnet. So you're unlikely to get either temperature rise in the clips uh, or uh, any any kind of tug or displacement on, of, of them. So, so first round, jaw strength. Now jaw strength is important I think because um, you you want a strong jaw, so when you kind of hook the jaw, hook one 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 of the jaws underneath the kind of mucosal edge, and then pull pull it across to grip the opposite side and close the defect. You want a strong jaw, a jaw that doesn't deform, uh, and you can kind of kind of pull things across uh, better. So you want a strong jaw. I measured the, the jaw strength in in both of them, and I found that the instant clip got a slightly stronger jaw. Uh, it took 0.5 neutrons uh, to by pressing on a scale to deform the the uh, instant clip versus 0.38 newton is nearly the same but not quite to deform the 360 resolution clips uh, so the 
almost the same but not quite so jaw number uh, um, round number one is what actually won by by the instinct clip round number two control and maneuverability now for this I'm using a gastroscope and let me show you how I actually how I actually uh, do it um, so I got um, I got a, an unwieldy gastroscope and um, then I I place the clip uh, down the channel because it's it's kind of designed down the channel isn't it so I put the clip down the channel and a measure that it rotates and open and closes then I put a full a full lock on the handle to turn the turn the shaft like that does it still open and close does it still uh, uh, twist and then everyone that's been trying to retrovert in the in the seek and will know that putting the big wheel whack is only half the step to get even more twist you put the little wheel forward look at that that's tight now <laughs> and then does the does it still turn does the clip still turn and then I'm torturing the clips here I put a twist on the shaft up to 40 centimeters like that does it still open and close and then finally I put two two twists uh, on the shaft <laughs> and put the clip down does it still open does it still close now both clips actually perform very well uh, with this test they they both well to be honest the instant clip does struggle a little bit because they it's difficult to open it sometimes they've got like a little spring load to help you opening them but I found that um, putting it putting the, the, the clip in a bit of water before you pass it down open and closing it a little bit underwater preferably a bit of infocol in just lubricates the mechanism a little bit making it easier otherwise it can be a bit scary the instant clip because you, you say to your assistant open clip please and she tries to open he or she and just can't do it but lubricating the, head, the, the, the actual clip mechanism makes that easier so to be fair that's what I did in this experiment nevertheless there's no doubt about it that the 360 clip actually works a bit better. Now the 360 is actually made for rotatability. It's called the 360 uh, resolution clip. Uh, and a normal clip, you see, as you twist the handle, it's the little wire inside the clip that rotates the clip at the end. But Boston has cleverly um, turned the engineering on its head. So with, uh, as you twist, you're actually twisting the sheet of the of the clip and the wire still still twisting the sheet of the clip you get more force being implied down the down the shaft of the uh, of the clip and you get better control by the way uh, something i learned from experience is that uh, as you if you're in a really tortuous position you can maybe retrovert it in the cecum you, your resistance is kind of trying to twist the the clip into the right place and what you then find is that it tends to nothing happens and then it goes bzzz, and then exactly in the same position it was. It's gone through three revolutions but it's exactly in the same place as it was to start with. Then don't shout to your assistant. Instead what you should say to him or her is now twist the other way and you will then find that actually you're now beginning to retain a little bit of fine tuning and with all the clips that I use you know with a bit of patience and calm you can actually get that clip in the right position. But there's no doubt about it in this head-to-head -head round two of control and maneuverability is the Boston that wins. Now um, round three, drag. I measure drag down the, the, the endoscope channel by basically placing the clip inside uh, with the introducing sheet and then pulling it through, measuring the amount of resistance the, the clip exerts as I pull it down. A, a reasonably straight colon colonoscope. And I find that the, the Boston clip does exert a significantly a significantly higher resistance in spite of being kind of polished polished uh, metal it's bigger it's thicker I guess it has to be stiffer and thicker and more robust a to kind of give something to hold on to and b to kind of transform the transmit the force down the shaft of the clip so there's no doubt about it the Boston clip does exert more drag as you put it in put it down the the biopsy channel I measure the drag as uh, 1.6 Newton with the uh, with the resolution clip versus 0.98 Newton with the instinct clip um, so again this somewhat uh, light round is actually won by instinct this time 
Now dimensions, we want big eclipse, we want a big span with a short tail. Everyone wants that, size matters. Well, it doesn't really. In the esophagus, a big wide clip is unwieldy and difficult to use. So in the esophagus, you want a small clip actually. So I think it's right of your manufacturer, you shouldn't just go for bigger and bigger clips. You want to have some small clips and some large clips. Large clips for use in a bit big area where you've got a big hole. Uh, small clips where you've got a, a small confined area more difficult to deal with. Um, now the instinct clip opens at, as a, I think a, a, um, a class leading 12.8 millimeter wide. That's a wide open clip. The 360 resolution clip opens to 11 millimeter, so it's 1.8 millimeter uh, less in the opening. Now the the tail, which we want to be short because we don't want a huge tail kind of flapping about in the in the lumen. We want to have a short stumper tail, so then it's easier to place the next next clip along it and kind of create a, like a suture line, if you wish. If there is, um, if you really want to close the the mucosal defect well. Now the uh, the tail the tail size of a insulin clip is 13.8 millimeter, according to the manufacturer's brochure. I measured it a little bit longer, about 13.2 millimeter, but maybe that's just me. And anyway, the resolution clip is noticeably longer. You can see in this picture here, it's 16 millimeter. That's a bit too long, guys. You need to shorten that. The old um, the old resolution clips were were I think the same. So Boston has re-engineered the, the the sheet and turned the turned the twistability uh, kind of got twistability but the actual clip itself I don't think they change much so you could work with guys your next your next clip should have a shorter tail thank you very much so round number four dimensions is actually worn by um, instinct now round five uh, the grip the grip is important of course because if the clip falls off that's when you stand a risk of a late bleed and that is when you might get a, a, a late perforation if you if you haven't closed a, a defect properly and applied a lot of heat there now how do you measure uh, grip in uh, you can't do it in in vivo really um, so i decided to use my own little mock setup for it so what what i did was i, I took a theater gown which is kind of strong and yet a little bit slippery and then i attach a clip to the edge of the theater gown and then measure the kind of force i need to pull it off and i was surprised at the result because the instinct clip which got ferocious little teeth that you can see under the magnification didn't hold on as well as the Bo Boston 360 resolution clip. Now, to pull off a, a 360 resolution clip, I have to pull with a force of 11.7 Newton compared to 3.4 Newton for the instinct clip. I was surprised at that because, uh, as I said, they've got, they've got more kind of, yeah, ferocious looking teeth under the microscope. Uh, nevertheless, this is an important round and I think it, it definitely goes to uh, the 360 resolution clip. Now round six is price. Price is important because even if you've got a, a clip which is not quite as good as another clip but it's half the price then what the heck you put two clips, two cheaper clips on and you, you're twice as you're probably better off with two clips or, or, or two cheaper clips rather than one expensive clip. So price matters. Now of course the price is not necessarily applicable throughout the world. In Leeds, the, the price we are quoted by Cook probably depends on, on the number of clips we use, what other Cook products we use, and the same with Boston. Um, so it may or may not be applicable to your unit, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the, in, in Leeds, we're actually paying less for the Boston uh, resolution clip. We're paying about fifty pounds for them, but we're paying more for the instinct clips. Now, now that may change. It was only in the last couple of weeks that the Boston told me that this was, was actually going to be the 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 price for the uh, resolution clips, and they said that even that price isn't fixed. It might actually go down a little bit further if we're buying enough of them. And um, so, in the direct price comparison, there's a slight uh, win by the 360 resolution clip over the instinct clip. So the final scores are in. Um, of course these six rounds that have gone through aren't I don't think of equal importance because the most important to me is the grip. I want a, a, a 
a clip that grips strongly and doesn't fall off. That's way more important to me at least, rather than the drag, the kind of the resistance of the clip as it goes down the biopsy channel. So in this table here, I've actually weighted the, uh, the, the different brands according to my own belief of what's important and what is less important. And as you find here in this table, grip and control, I find the most important. I want to be able to control it. I want it to be reliably open and close, and I want to be able to kind of rotate it. And I want, once it's applied, I want it to grip firmly. That those are my priorities. And on both those two, two accounts, the 360 resolution clip wins. Now, price, uh, the 360 wins as well, but that's only in leads. Uh, dimensions are actually better for the instant clip. They're open wider and they've got a shorter tail. We like that. Um, the jaw strength is better with the instant clip. We like that because we want to grab hold of one, one of the mucosal edges and pull the clip across and grip the other side as well as far into the defect as we can anyway. Uh, drag is, is, is won by the instant clip because I think the 360 has to be made a bit more bulky to kind of go down the channel and, and be enough kind of um, material to transmit the, the twisting force from up at the handle to the tip of the clip. MRI compatibility is the same between two but all in all the, bout, the, the, the match is won by the, the 360 resolution clip. Congratulations.